right, James. Where we at, man? Uh, we're back here in Santa Ana to take care of the Mercedes that we weren't able to fully take care of yesterday. I thought the guy said that uh, he couldn't do today. Yeah, you remember he was talking about, <laughs> oh, I'm leaving to San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, I think he was trying to say he'd prefer for it to be done yesterday, but he still ended up calling me back out here. Um, I think it's because he sent me a $15 deposit. And I don't think he wants to lose his deposit. Hey, that so, deposit works, bro. That's why I think that's why he still hit me back up. Because last night I texted him and asked him, hey, I could still head out there. No reply, nothing. And then randomly just he hit me back up. Hey, so are you coming tomorrow? Okay, you know what? Yeah, I can go. Just We got to just find the right time and we made it happen. All right, man. Hopefully nothing bad happens on this one. <laughs> no throwing guns on the floor this time. Let's try. All right, let's go. Hey man, so what's the job? Uh, right now we got the wash and wax for the exterior, interior vacuum wipe down, and then um, uh, stain removal for the middle part that separates the back seat and like the center console. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean that up too. Hello boss, pleasure to see you again. Good to see you man. Yes sir, thank you. So same thing as yesterday, right? Yeah. Go ahead, wash the car, wax it, um, interior, just a vacuum wipe down, and then try to take care of that stain yeah. for you, right? Yeah. Cool, I'll go ahead and get it done and then um, I'll contact you as soon as we're finished. All right, sounds good, man. Thank you. Thank you. The sun's starting to come out, so time to change uh, change gears. Are we okay to take this off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the sun, when it's super bright, is it easier or harder to wash a car? Depends. Yeah. So it's, it's easier to dry the car because with the spotless water, it'll almost like dry itself. But it's also a bit harder to paint on the color. Like with black cars, it'll dry up faster. That's why earlier we washed that car like in halves. But um, for the most part, it, it differs. It depends how hot it really gets. Hey, so you pretty much just gave a plug to your detail supply store. Yeah. Who is it? Uh, his name is Victor. Uh, but BDS? Yeah, Vital Detail Supplies. <laughs> it's funny because when we were there, I asked him, I said, Vic, when, yeah. you gonna, when are you going to sponsor me? Yeah. He said, oh, yeah, you need a sponsorship? I said, yeah. We'll give a free plug. The first one's free. How long have you been shopping at VDS? Uh, I've been shopping there, ooh, probably, I think, since I bought my first Mighty, or my, my actually my big Mighty, and that's been, I don't know, close to a year now, probably. It was back when he first started, uh, kind of like, now I want to say like in a garage type of uh, warehouse thing. And then now he's in his actual shop environment. And what do you get from him? Uh, like certain supplies, equipment? Yeah, so depending on really what it is, I go for him for almost just about everything uh, from ceramic coatings to even just simple soaps. So just about this is all from Vic, all these brake busters, iron busters. If it's not Shine Supply, I buy it directly from Vic because Shine Supply, you can only get directly through them. But I mean, everything, even these towels, these pink towels, these red towels, these blue ones, those are all from Vic. Uh, these is, he has a lot of great quality stuff that not many shops around here offer, which is the best part. Yeah, and if you guys need any detail supplies at all, from chemicals to pressure washer hoses to guns, make sure you go to Vic at Vital Detail Supplies, located in Alhambra, California. Same thing for his Instagram, at Vital Detail Supplies. Let him know James from Top Class Detail sent you over. Do you always like starting with the tires first? Yeah. I just found that, I don't know, for some reason it's just, I feel like this takes more work than it does washing the car. Cause I'm sitting here having to do all the barrels and everything that once I get this over with, it's just a nice smooth process. It's nice knowing you don't have anything else to do after something else, you know? Gotcha. So, another person hit you up because they saw the YouTube video? Yeah. And they're like, James, I need you to come detail my car. Yeah, so he said, uh, hey man, that Reyes video uh, brought me to your work and I really enjoy it. Um, when are you available? So I asked him where he was located. He told me he was in uh, Koreatown. So I said, all right, cool. 
So now we're uh, talking about getting him scheduled to get his car detailed. And that's all just from the YouTube video. Uh, so it's working out. Yeah. Hey, what is that? This is uh, the iron remover. So whenever you do a clay and wax, you want to make sure you're using this and a clay bar. So whatever the clay bar doesn't pick up, this will get. And whatever this doesn't pick up, the clay bar will get, vice versa. So you just spray this on there. When it comes into contact with iron or any debris, any uh, fallout like this, that's when it's going to start to turn purple, like up here where this whole fender is. And then that's where you're going to know that you're removing everything you need to get off. But you want to be careful, especially when direct sun like this, because it can definitely damage the car. So I'm going to just make sure it's not too hot. Still pretty cool if I need to. I'll just spray a little bit like that to just get it running again. What are you using for the clay bar? Uh, this clay towel. So since the vehicle is white, you're like, there's some people that will say you can clay a white car when it's wet. Um, some will say you can't do it to a black car. But since the car is white, I'm claying it with the soap on it using this Car Pro clay towel. So the car is not in a bad shape at all. So this is a light clay towel that's not going to cause any marring or much at all. And what it's going to do is lift up whatever's left over from the iron remover process. So this way we're not using such a heavy, uh, heavy clay bar on something that just doesn't need it. But the upside to this too is with the regular clay bar, if you drop it on the floor, you're done. Mm. You have to throw it away and get a new one. With this one, you can just rinse it off and keep going. Continue where it was that you started where you messed up. that right there this is the uh, same thing we used earlier on that escalade so a car pro hydro 2 light it's about like a three to six month sealant sprayed on properly maintain it you can get even upwards of longer so i have a neighbor's car who i did with this exact um spray well, as soon as she got the car we're about eight months with the car still protected what's the difference between that and wax spray wax so the difference is just the type of consistency you're using so the paste wax is gonna come obviously in like a paste or something that's a little bit thicker that you can apply by hand or machine. This is just a little bit more, how do you say, convenient. Spray on, rinse off, dry the car, you're good to go. So that's just why I like it, easy use. How's the inside looking, James? Breeze. Yeah. An absolute breeze. What are we doing for the inside? So really, honestly, just vacuuming it and giving it a wipe down, that's all that's included, but he wants me to take care of the stain right here. So I think what I want to do is I want to, I'm gonna hit it with the steamer only, uh, just to kind of share some knowledge about how you can remove stains without an extractor because a lot of detailers feel like you need an extractor to remove stains or that's like the most important thing you need. But truth is, if you carry the steamer with the right techniques, the right products, you can get the right results. So I feel like this would be a good example to show how to use the steamer and remove some stains out of it. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-treat it first with just the steam. What that's gonna do is kind of provide that heat to loosen up some of that dirt that's in there. And then after that, I'll pre-treat it again with some carpet cleaner, hit it with this, mop it up, and kind of repeat that process until we can get the results that we're looking for. What'd you got right there? So right here, I have some carpet cleaner. Uh, this is actually Flex um, Citrus Salt, which is a powdered-based uh, carpet cleaner. So I went, I grabbed a towel. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this to mop it up after we steam it. So. Then take the 
Ich das hau. You can see this is all dirt that was right there. So now I'm gonna flip it, go to another clean side and go the opposite way. There you go, more dirt. And now when you look at this, it doesn't even look anything like how it did before when the customer brought it into you. And if you need to, repeat the process again just to achieve better results. I have the bigger one, but this is like the smaller one. What's that for? The tires, smaller mm -hmm. tires like this, and I have the other one for bigger tires. So it's cool because it has this nice handle to grip. Where you get it from? Uh, Vic, when we went over there today right now. VDS? Yes, sir. Here we go. Sounds good, thank you. He's coming? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Have him come check it out. See how he likes it, which I'm pretty sure he's going to be very satisfied, especially with the stain you want to remove. Yeah, played and waxed it. You can feel the smoothness. Hey, so what the customer think of the job? Uh, he was satisfied with it. You saw, I mean, I had asked them to like fill the car. Personally, when we do a clay and wax, I like to have the customer fill the vehicle. It allows them to know that we actually did what we said we were going to do to the car. If the car wasn't properly clayed or waxed, it would not be this smooth of a surface. So he felt that, was very satisfied with how that came out, as well as the stain that we took out for him. He was just looking to remove as much as we can, and we got almost 100% removed, and that was good enough. And did I hear him say that he has a black car? Yeah, he said um, he has another car that's black and he asked if we charge the same amount for that car. I told him yes, the price would only differ if it's a um, bigger vehicle like a truck or an SUV, but the sedan would be the same price all around. There you go, so another happy customer? Yeah, another happy client. That's two wash and wax, two clays and seals, aka wash and wax is done today. So now we're on to the next one. Anna, so I'm about 45 minutes away from there, so I probably wouldn't get there till about 3.30. And then on top of that, by the time I finish the cars, it'd already be close to like seven when it gets dark. What about what about tomorrow? Um, tomorrow possibly. On the thing is, is I don't ever really know my schedule until I'm done working, just because it's just me by myself. So I kind of handle everything. But once I'm done for the day and I get settled down, I check my times. I start booking appointments. I know I have some availability. I'm just not exact sure on the time, so I just don't want to promise you something right now and then change it up with you later on. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. But I know I have at least one car booked tomorrow morning, or at least two. Um, let me just double check everything and then I'll get back to you tonight, um, hopefully before 8 p.m. Okay, all right, hell yeah, good, good looking. Yeah, because um, um, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm heading out to a little, little car meet. And I want to take the blazer, so I was like, man, let me call the homie and see if he wants to come through and, you know. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you for thinking about me. Yeah, uh, yeah. let me uh, knock out the rest of my appointments today. And then once I settle down and check everything, I'll go ahead and get back to you for sure. All right, all right, my boys. Yeah, just call me to this number or text me, whatever. So that was another customer who wanted same day? Yeah, another client called me right now asking if I could go today to go knock out his blazer. But I just let him know that I still have about another three cars to do. I'm about 45 minutes away from the next location, so with all that, we're looking at at least four hours, you know, for me to knock those out, and it's already close to three, that'll be seven o'clock, it'll be too late by then to drive out there another 45 minutes and do another car. Mm. So that's how you handle people who hit you up same day, you, you let them know, hey, I'll let you know what I have available tomorrow, and yeah. go from there? Honestly, I, tr I never take same days unless I'm really just, mm. you know, open and have no cars because I like to be able to talk to the customer and get an idea of what it is they want done and mm. certain things so I'm not just pulling up on the spot. Here you go, here I am, what are we doing? And kind of having mm. a guess while we're there. Because some clients don't know, but a lot of the packages they'll pick, they may pick a regular wash, and then when you get there, like this guy, how we did it uh, yesterday, ask for a wash and wax. But let's mm. say I'm not carrying everything for the wash and wax. 
then I can't do it. I'm losing out on money and they're not able to get the service they want. So that's why it's better to talk with them, see exactly what they want. So this way you can come prepared with everything. What's going on? This is James with Top Class Detail. And in this video, you guys saw exactly how we took care of this clay and seal package for this Mercedes, as well as our interior detail stain removal on that small little piece. And if at all, you enjoyed the content you saw here today and you'd like to see more, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, follow us on Instagram, check out our TikToks. So this way you're always posted with any new content that we drop. How much you make today? Uh, 150. Actually 165, but he sent me a $15 deposit. So I took that out. So 165.